Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. It's the Hoyle and Joe show. This is this is the part where Joe is just terrible at card games, and I just sit here belittling him. That that's that's what we do here. But also, wait, I have to die inside at watching this. Shouldn't so. I? Wait, shouldn't that be the Joe and Hoyle show? Well, it doesn't really matter. Um, so let's have a look at the decks I have. Let's start off with the one Hoyle made me. Um, which is basically... I was going to say that only has one rep and then I realised that's a full art like that, so that's very cool. Yeah, that. it's uh, it's pretty I've sexy. Seen this art before. I haven't looked at the, the full arts. Yeah, so the idea of this deck is... Well, Hoyle, if you want to explain the idea behind the deck. So basically it's largely just sort of a low energy, very fast deck that just sort of puts a lot of pressure on with damage and then can use stuff like Blaine and Giovanni to just ramp up the damage, you know, kind of, you know, turn 40 into 70 or 14 to 50, 15 to 60, that sort of thing. And those numbers just add up because you can kind of attack every turn, I think is the, the idea. Yeah. Uh, I think the only slight difference is that I have I only have the one Giovanni. And you got um, oh, you, you, you're you running Sabrina in this one. I can't remember if I included Sabrina in the original one. <laughs> I think you did. I mean, Sabrina's kind of a, a must-have, I feel, I mean, in it, every it, single it is deck. absolutely must-have. I was going to suggest including it. I'm just going to go find it because I did send it to JJ. Um, I, I know I took out the red card. I think you... You yeah, just have I, to run I that. included a uh, red card. Oh, oh yeah, no, there's, there's, there's uh, hold on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Uh, yes, I included two red card, uh, and I can completely accept replacing them with Sabrina. Like I'm not going to argue that in any way. I mean, it's kind of it is. It can really disrupt, but. Like I said in Discord, I think because the the, the smaller decks, it's I don't think yeah. it's that effective. Um, so yeah, instead of the second Giovanni, I'm running a potion because well, I don't know, yeah, it helps I suppose. Okay, so that's what that's the deck Hoyle made me. Um, let's have a look at the deck I. I well, I didn't. I, I guess I did make it, but I just kind of copied the one that the the game provides as well. The game suggests, which is basically just uh, a Venus or an egg ex executor deck. And well, the, I just have to say, my sort of OCD is really unsettled by the fact that the ex executes are in the middle of the Bulbasaur line in the deck order. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it should be Bulbasaur, I've saw Venus or then execute executor. I, I can't do that. I, well, that's that's the game. I, I don't know why it's shown it like that, I suppose. I don't, I don't knows? like it. I don't like it. Based on rarity, I suppose, yeah, because that's the. This is one. It's just like a normal rarity. Yeah. The same as execute, and then two. And then X. Yeah, four stars. Yeah. No, it's not four stars. It's four diamonds. Four diamonds. So, yeah, basically, the idea with this deck is to quickly bust out the executor, start. Gambling, essentially, just gamble, <laughs> and then have a Bulbasaur well. on the bench and start uh, chucking energy on that, so that the Venusaur can come out and just kind of sweep up, really, because the Venusaur is just—it's pretty good. I mean, 190 XP uh, HP. You've got Giant Blue, which heal, heals 30, so you're you're healing. Whilst you're attacking, and then you just throw in like potions, Erica's, uh, and like it's really hard to to kill the bastard. So yeah, and basically because I drew like well, I've got both Venusaurs in uh, the boosters, I thought well I may as well try and use them. So that was the idea. Um, and I then still think you should run a Caterpie to get a random grass Pokemon added to your hand as an attack. But yeah, but but why? I mean, why? Because like, the whole the, the whole Mulligan that, thing, like happen. with the whole Mulligan thing, I'm guaranteed um, a Bulbasaur and execute, and then 
you've got research, uh, Professor Research and the uh, Pokeball. Okay. So, yeah, so the main reason I'm suggesting is because it's any grass Pokemon, I think. So it can actually find the Ivysaur and Venusaur to hand to yeah. actually evolve them easier. Yeah, but, but I, of course, not really. Give up an easy point very quickly. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like with executive executive Venusaur being EXs, um, I'm already giving away two yeah, stars get... there, so yeah. I can't I can't really be sac sacrificing stuff because I, I essentially only have like two deaths with this deck. Yeah. In this game over. I mean, what you obviously wanting to do is play a four-point game. Make your opponent take four points worth of attacks as to win. Basically, that that's what those um, decks I was supposed to do earlier, where where it's just like the two copies of one basic EX. You have to carry two EXs to win. Yeah. And that's harder than one ex and a and a smaller thing or three smaller things, right? Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> what's JJ saying? Uh, let me just check. <laughs> He's saying that he'll use me spending money as an excuse to spend more money. Oh dear. You guys, despicable. Got to try and do, do like the I, premium pass only, otherwise free to play. I'm so far I'm free to play, and I'm resisting yes, the urge. Spend money in New Zealand. Well, yeah, but also because there's nothing to pay. Like, there's no ladder. There's no real benefit of winning. So there's no real benefit of actually investing money at the moment because. You know, um, you're not winning them. You like, yeah, yeah. There's no, there's no benefit to um, to having more cars. I mean, you, okay, you have a better collection, but then if collecting's your thing, okay. But if I'm more interested in the battling part, and if I don't really get anything from battling apart from just you know the battles themselves, then uh, yeah, I think a few people sort of expressed this in the the build up that. Without the ranked ladder, it's like a lot of people are gonna sort of struggle to find the reasons to pay or even stick around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I mean, they they're gonna have to do something competitive. They can't. They they, they, do... they definitely will, and I'm sure, especially once people start doing like grassroots tournaments, where you know people on Discord come together, um, organize an event, probably weekly. Yeah, you know, it kind of shows there's an appetite for some competitive action, even if it's only a small group. Right, that's the point. Actually, I've not looked into the the Discord to see if anyone's running um, tournaments. Well, they've got a battle request channel, but I don't, I don't think I've seen anything about a tournament yet. I figured they would have announced it in 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 the the actual announcement channel. Yeah. Okay. Right, and well, this deck is just uh, something I'm working on. It's it's just like the the bones of an idea because I have two Stormy X's, and it's once again just the idea of getting something out early, which does a lot of damage, and just trying to blast my opponent before they can set Tell up. Tell me what the Frostmoth does. So Frostmoth. Um, Put your Pokemon, your opponent's act oh, Pokemon oh, sleep. sleep. Okay. Yeah, the thing is, I originally thought that it wasn't a sleep, it was paralysis. Yeah, no, sleep is... So sleep is not that great. Just gambling. Yeah, yeah. So I think I might just get rid of Frostmoth and... I don't know. Golduck's pretty good. Um, like, it's you easy, might be worth fast damage. Something simple like um, Lapras. I'm thinking Brooks Lapras. La or Lapras or Brookshire. Yeah. yeah. Just, just like low energy, basic, reasonable amount of HP. Yeah. So that could work, I think. The only issue with Lapras is you really need to run Misty. And I don't have Misty. Not even a single copy. Oh. 
I was just working on the assumption that you did, and then you just dropped that bombshell. Like, no, oh, no, Missy. Well, that fail, isn't it? yeah. So that's why it's. This is just like the the bones of what's to come. Uh, like also, I, said, I absolutely love the side up. I love, <laughs> love the side up. Being able to just support a lock everyone. Yeah. Like it's only ten damage, but a support a lock can absolutely screw you over the game. Yeah, yeah, it, it, that's actually really useful, especially for all the Pokemon researchers that everyone pretty much gets in their first hand or, or second uh, yeah. draw. So, yeah, it's pretty useful. Um, but yeah, I reckon I might just drop the Frost Moths in the end and stick in some Laprises and Misty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, well, let's get into the action then. What deck should I start off with first? Uh, let, let's let's see how the the fire deck plays because I you know I want to see the fruits of my theory crafting in action. Okay, um, so there are two modes here: it's beginner and training card game player. I'm not really sure if there's a huge difference between either modes right now. Um, yeah. I've just been playing on beginner. Because like all the decks in beginner have just been like absolute whale decks. It, it sounds like no one's actually using the advanced one. You can't find a, a game there. Yeah, like that's everyone, also what I read. On that mode, he's then going on to beginner anyway. Yeah. It's then we have the surprise guest. Oh, for God's sake, we're talking! Oh God, Nin. The dawn has arrived. Can you? Can you not? Fucking data mining cunt! <laughs> Why don't you go choke on a fucking broccoli piece? Okay. Perfect. I'm just muting them. So are you going first or second? I completely missed what happened. I am going second. Okay. Do so. Do I play the predator? I do, right? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I've started realizing that. It's not always favourable to have a um, oh god type disadvantage to have a full bench oh, because you just get easily Sabrinaed. Well, typically you just as as long as you because because you get to pick as long as you know what one you want to bring up in a situation where you get Sabrinaed, it's fine to have a bench. Yeah. Right, so you play uh, Professor's Research and then Pokeball, right, Hoyle? So, this <laughs> question depends on what card you are searching for. Um, what so right now we want, want Magmar. We want Magmar, which we are guaranteed to get because, it, well, it's either Magmar or Farfetch'd. So, what you want to do is actually play Professor's Research to basically have two opportunities to either draw a Magmar or a Farfetch'd, thus reducing the chance, so increasing the chances, rather, the Pokeball hits the Magma you want. Right. Okay. Excellent logic. So there's the. See? Look, the Farfetch has appeared now, so you now have a two in three chance. Okay, and the, the Magma. Is, is Magma instead oh, of the and in look! Four. Damn, boy, it's like you're a professional. <laughs> right. Um. So just gonna attack. Not just a pretty face. Just gonna attack right into this, yeah. Um, um can't see why not. Hold on to the far fetch for now. Like I think does Frogadier do like thirty, which would be fifty, so you wouldn't be getting knocked out or anything. Not yet, if he even has Frogadier in hand. Yeah, I'm. J I'm just sort of. Oh, trying to process oh, okay. what is the worst that could happen. So I got red carded, like that. but that's that's not too bad. I mean, well, it's, it's pretty it's bad. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, um, that's you not... know, having the far fetched on the bench probably would have been preferable. Yeah, I could have switched into it. Uh, right. So. so... Set the other Magma on bench uh, and then give the middle, well, give one of them an energy. 
Yeah. Give give one of them an energy, yeah. Um I think Sure, why not venture? Yeah. Um you want a potion just so that it it reduces the chance of being KO'd, obviously if he gets a frog there's nothing you can do. But that'll stop the Froki or even the Star you potentially taking you out. Yeah. Right. Um, may as well say save on the Sabrina and they're not gonna switch into anything, so Yeah. Okay. Trust the first deck to be a, a war type deck. Hmm. Oh yeah, my my phone alarm's about to go off now because I'm boiling some rice. <laughs> Oh, come on, I need the Rapidash. No, you don't. Okay. So... You just need to attach a second energy retreat and, uh, or even next speed. Yeah. Retreat. Um, I, I would just retreat. Because mm. it's only yeah, one energy. You, you can just, because it's just one energy, you can just reattach it, it's fine. Yeah. Right. You kill. The problem here would be if he gets Starmy X out, um, it's pretty much a good game. <laughs> uh, yeah, basically. It is. Because I have... I hit one shot... Me oh, opponent conceded. Okay. Basically did not get the Starmy X. <laughs> that was easy. GGWP. Oh yeah, and I've noticed that this deck obviously prefers going second. Yes. 100%. Right, um, give me two secs, I'm just gonna take that rice off boil. Okay. Back. Yeah. Cool. Right. So yeah, I was just gonna add that, like, even if you go first, as long as you open Ponyta, you're not in a terrible place. Like, just because that gives you the opportunity to evolve up and have a higher HP, one energy forty attack. Yeah. Yeah. So the only issue is when I open with like Farfetch and Magma, something like that. Oh yeah, no, that absolutely sucks. <laughs> like right now. Uh okay. So yeah, with the um Pokeball and research in your in your hand at the same time situation, if you want a basic Pokemon, you play the research first to improve your rods. If you want anything else, you play the Pokeball first. You take the, the base to put, take a basic Pokemon out of the deck, so that you your the anything else has a better chance. Right. I never. I always just did uh, research at first and then Pokeball. No, it is a, it's an important consideration of what you're looking for. The only downside is that if you, you're looking for the basic Pokemon, you play research and actually find the basic Pokemon you're looking for, then it's like, well, the Pokeballs now kind of feels wasted. I suppose it's just deck thinning, though. But it is it is deck thinning, and if you then, you know, able to bench it, you've got less things in your deck for when you get a red card hit. So you can draw back into better cards, essentially. Okay, I've, I've never seen someone play Ditto. Yeah. Copy of someone's and attack. And the energy zone is currently uh, showing water, so they're not exactly able to copy your attacks other than Farfetch. So Farfetch being benched may actually 
be yeah, an okay. attachment to you because that would yeah. open it to, to them. Okay. Um, so far, can we do anything else apart from just give him some energy? No point using Giovanni Sabrina, so yeah. Okay, I think this is just some random ass deck because he's got water and psychic. I mean, it may be an exclusively colorless deck. That has, I don't know how um, setting up the energy zone works if you have a colorless deck, but it may be a case of it's got a bit of every energy appearing with the view to actually being able to do things with um, Ditto. Oh, this is... that's annoying. Flip a point, defense, discard a random card from your opponent's hand. That is, um... Yep. Not fun. But it can't do anything to you. No, not at the moment. So you may... Uh... So my question is, when do I use Giovanni and when do I, like, when do I fall onto it? Um, um, so that would be basically, so you're doing 50 damage. So it's a two hit KO anyway. It's two hit KO anyway, Giovanni provides you no benefit against the Persian. Right, so... If you're facing something that has, say, either 100 or 110 HP, so what you would do is say, oh, okay, I'm going to do 60 damage, and then I can either do the 50 with the Magma and get the 110, or if it's got 100 HP and the Magma's going to get knocked out, you can say, well, I know that everything else in my attacks can do 40 and make up the remaining 40 HP on 100 HP. So it's things like that. It's sort of if if ten will make up a two hit KO or fix a one hit KO situation, like on the uh, the Pidgey, if the Pidgey was still active. All right. Okay. Oh, I got the. I hit the Serena as well. Okay. That's not ideal. No. So. That's okay. Yeah. Well, you. Um. So now we've played a Giovanni to get so the now kill. He's got, yeah, now he's got 60 HP. Giovanni, KO. You know, don't forget to attach to the Rapidash. Or, actually, no, attach to the Magma. Yeah, I'll do Magma. Because then that way both Pokemon are only one attached away from attacking. Okay, first Blood. Blaine is ridiculously good in this deck as well. It's like... Yeah. I can believe the, that. the extra damage is very useful. Like if the plane turns up on your next draw, it's like perfect. Yeah. So what is he? Oh, oh he actually got a fire energy as well. Are you kidding me? So he's going to be able to use um, fire he's mate. Be able to use yeah. Huh. Well, oh. How about that? <laughs> this just feels like some random ass deck, man. Uh, so with 100 HP, uh, I was going to say the Rapid Ash might be the better choice, but sure. I want big damage. But again, the point being that, you know, at the minute, there is no distinction between 40 and 50 on what this does to anything except the Lickitung, which the Lickitung doesn't seem to be coming up. Right. Um, uh, I'm still going to kill this. Yeah. Uh, it's so worth benching the ponies, though. Okay. You do. I was going to say. Mm, yeah, no. Oh, Farfetch'd? That doesn't really make any difference. No, because that that means that he's got an attack if he comes up with another Ditto. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't matter what energy that has. True, true. Not that I, I can't see him playing another Ditto, right? He's just full bench and that, but... You never know. Well, yeah. You know. That's sort of, lo and, I'm long game thinking here, oh yeah, you take out the Ditto, or bench another one, attach a Psychic Energy, can still use League Slap. Okay, sort he's of. retreating? What are you retreating to? But, why? Tank because, yeah, I... I think he just wants to buy some time to get the Pidgeot out. Okay. Um, 
Like that, that's what I would imagine. So, once again, no point using the blame just yet, because it's too yeah. hit KO anyway. It's too hit KO. Mm, sure it's just Sabrina then, should I? Um, Force him I, to... Sabrina would absolutely cause him problems. Wait, I can't though, because I used them. You research. Really research yeah, yeah. Never mind. But it's fine. Like... I don't really feel threatened at the moment. Like, um... Yeah. That's the thing. It's fine. It, it... When the Pidgeot comes in play, you know, that that swing for 60 and able to force you to switch, then it's so it's one hit KO in your opponent's turn and two hit KO and everything else. So you, you know. Okay. But this I, is. I well, this just... is a good game, though, because I'll take out Licky Tongue. He'll bring out the Pidgeot. Uh, Sabrina, whatever he switches into, I just blame and I get the win. Well, you would have to blame on a separate turn, but yes. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Um, it's basically if the second uh, Blaine turns up when the Pidgeot's out, then you're good. Because you can then just do like two hits of seventy with uh, Pidgeot, uh, not Pidgeot, uh, with Rapidash as a minimum. Right. Do I? I do not want to lose this, to this deck. <laughs> oh, he does have another Ditto. Don't you so? <laughs> Right. Okay, so Blaine, uh, that would be 80 damage. That would leave him on that would leave him 50, and then I would use. Um, okay. So I actually kind of like the idea of an X speed to retreat into Rapidash attached to that. Blaine 70, and then. Um, it will be on 60 HP and a magma can come back in with the Giovanni, you know, if you don't get a second blame with the Rapidash, basically. The only issues we've used the Giovanni. Oh, yeah, I, thought, I can't remember if you had, I thought you had to. Rain, yeah. good. But also, it's basically this is denying a knockout, at least for an extra turn. Yeah, so, yeah, blame. Right? Maybe 70? Yeah. And then... Big damage. I mean, we could always draw the second blade now. I mean, there's four cards left in there, so... Yeah. Okay. Um... Uh... Ponytail, right? Just sack it. Throw away the ponytail. Yeah. And then bring in the rapid dash again. Yeah. Next, uh, this is this is this is actually suddenly a problem. I'm thinking, uh, bring in the rapid dash, but you're basically hoping to top deck plane at this point. <laughs> Oh, well, that's a sick Oh, I can't! Uh, well, I can use... I can't use Serena, because then you just switch in something else. I've got no way of doing the damage. Yeah, no, I, I sort of, like, didn't process the, the fact that the ability was actually just going to ruin you. <laughs> like, it's, it's... Yeah. Um... Damn, just 10 off. And where, why, where's the X attack? Come on. Yeah. I mean, that's what Giovanni is, so it's sort of suddenly... Uh, oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe switching to the Rapidash was the wrong move. But you'd still kind of be in this problem because you'd probably have lost the... You'd have lost the Magma, so... Mm -hmm. You'd still be 10 damage short. Yeah. So I think you're just going to have to sort of <laughs> research, hope to, I don't know. There's, there's nothing we can do, Oil. 
There is nothing. There's but... GG. You know, throw the potion for timer stall, I don't know. <laughs> Do you even have fucking timer in this game? Yeah, did you not see? I had eight seconds left. Cool. Good job. Ah, uh, can't believe I lost this random ass deck, man. This doesn't feel... Nah, Pidgeot, like, it, Pidgeot specifically feels legit. The fact that it's using... Ditto and now he's just... disrespecting me. Disrespecting? This is... That's... I, 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 I like that. I, I, I appreciate that. I would do that. But that is absolute disrespect. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, that Pidgeot is really strong. I love that card. I've, I've got two of those. You could do something with that. Right. Next. So that was battle number two. We're 50 50 so far. Yeah. Why do I have to? Oh. Damn it. It's absolutely insane to think the game uh, opened for so by the way. Um, so. Absolutely insane to think that the game is bad to go first. I'm so used to. Like, even now in the main in the physical game, there's a lot of stuff that you can do going seconds, a lot of advantages to it, but there is always still the argument that going first, you basically just have an extra turn to sort of sort yourself out. But in this game, it's just horrible. First bad. It's really, really bad. No energy, you're just hoping to pull a research or a Pokemon and that's it. Like, Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't like it. Like, if you're going, if you've got an evolution deck, you know that's at least the benefit that you've got time to you know, evolve your Pokemon. But um, I am Magma. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't think. I, I don't know. I, I don't think swinging for you know, 20 is going to be, I don't it's gonna be worth it when you've got a Blaine in hand, so you can take out anything he's got on board at the minute. No. Yeah. You know, if if Rapidash turns up next turn, you've still got the KO doing the 20. I can do, I can do the X, X speed, freeze switch into Magmar. Yeah. And then Blaine. Okay. Uh hell you could no you'd actually be better off doing the Giovanni. Giovanni. Yeah, definitely Giovanni. Okay, so So one thing I'm I'm not a fan of with this game is like you have to hold like long press to highlight the card. It's a bit finicky sort of thing. Mm. I just so. think well if you're not playing it, I don't know how it handles to control the... Uh, so, so, I'd rather just click on a card, have it brought up, you know, and yeah. then you do the action. Okay, this is good, this is good. If we can put up some pressure early on... Because we can now one-shot the Haunter like as well. If, if, that, if that doesn't evolve, you're good. If it evolves... This, this is many, many problems. Like, I can't okay. remember which... Oh yeah, this, this is great. Fantastic. Do I bother using the potion, or...? Uh, probably? Okay. Mainly because I don't know which Gengar is using and what it does. Again, because there's obviously the Gengar and then there's Gengar EX. Yeah. And they do different things, and I, you know, I can't... 
I don't remember what those different oh. things are. Opponent conceded. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, it's just reveal the blade. Well, that that's it. That's game. <laughs> so both our wins came from early uh, forfeits. Early pressure, basically. Yeah. The opponent, you did enough pressure that the opponent just couldn't deal with it. Couldn't deal with it. Right. It's weird how I'm not getting like any of the super uh, Mewtwo X decks or... So you're going first. So... Farfetch, right? Well, well, you're going first, so... I don't know, either way. It just... Um, I suppose... Yeah, go, go for Farfetch then, I guess. Yeah, go, get in there. And then bench the other two, right? Probably. <laughs> Probably. You may be forced into a... a oh, screen. here we go. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Yeah, this is... Oh, boy, that's not ideal. That is not ideal. That is a draw pass. Ow. Absolute garbage hand. That's not good either, because he's going to get the Ralts now. And he's going to be able to set up with the uh, Gardevoir. Oh, come on. Two, two Pokeball in the opening hand. Oh. Wait, what? Pidgey? Oh, that, that's... that's Ghastly? Uh, that's interesting. What's going on? Like, I'm interested by the idea of including a Pidgeot in a deck like this. But at the same time, like I feel like the Gardevoir is too necessary because the attack, the big attacks like discard two energy, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So I'm just so tacking into this, right? Swinging. Yeah. Yeah. Swinging. Yeah, start slapping start. with the leak. Yeah. What 110 is now a two hit KO given the fact that you've got Lane and Giovanni in uh, in, in hand. Yeah, this is actually Maybe you can get this is okay. This is okay. It's... Because there's no rules on the bench, so you know. Mm. But that oof, if he's got a Pidgeot, man, Pidgeot's pretty uh pretty busted. Mm. Okay. It's still fine. That that's, that still works out using like Giovanni to buff Farfetch'd and then yeah. play into buff Magma. That, that still works. It's fine. It's fine. Um, right. So fire energy for you, my boy Geo. And then slap him for fifty. Okay, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. Hmm. Unless he uh, uses another potion, that would be. Um, yeah, I was going to say, a second or potion. Or a red right card. Is... <laughs> red card would be pretty bad as well. Yes, it would as well. Okay, here comes Pidgeot. So, what's the damage that the Mewtwo does with its first attack? It's like it's 50, 50, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. Still going according to plan. Oh, come on, let's go. Right. Do I bench the far fetch? Or... Uh, I don't think so. I don't know. Mate, uh... well, I mean, he could use the pity yeah, up to I, I, I think it might be worth. I think it might be okay. At least as a sacrifice, maybe. Um, okay, so, lane. Uh-oh, waiting for opponent to return. Don't tell me we've got a rage quitter. <laughs> I mean, 
Wouldn't you be upset if your three energy charge Mewtwo just got KO'd? I'd be flipping tables. <laughs> okay, so time limit. 12, 11, 10. I don't think he's coming back. Oh, no. Changed his mind. I was, I was going to say, it's like, well, what actually happens if you time out? Do you concede, or is it just automatically done for you? Uh, oh, good question. I thought it would just like automatically concede, but... Or maybe his Wi-Fi is dodgy. Is he going to start timer stalling? No. You're not playing for anything. What are you doing? Hmm. Right. So... Farfetch then. Probably. So I can, if I get Rapidash next turn, I can always just... Um, speed into it. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm actually wondering, depending where an energy goes, I I actually quite like the idea of the Sabrina in the next turn. Really? Is that because that um I don't know. No, I, I, I think just to we're only one kill away from winning, so... Yeah, I was going to say, it, a Leak Slap here will set you up nicely to... If it then switches into the Pidgeot, to uh, Saruna and it back in. Yeah. Exactly. So actually, yeah. Oh, shit! What? <laughs> I gave the Magma the energy. Yeah, that was kind of dumb. Uh, uh, I, I thought the, 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 this is fine. We've got an X speed. It's fine. I usually thought that the Farfetch already had a um, yeah. energy on it. It's what happens when you play 20, 20 turns ahead. <laughs> it's like we're we're thinking long game here. Like wait, he didn't <laughs> attack Farfetch. Are you coming back? Oh, is, wait, is Cal watching? Oh, he's muted. Yeah. <laughs> You've got more people to see that you're dumb. I mean, that's nothing new there. Okay. Basically, as long as nothing else gets benched, this isn't a problem. Yeah. Come on. Stop taking so long to do everything. Jeez. I mean, aren't you... Play your pathetic bloody... card. Using bloody VPNs to New Zealand, you know. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, Seriously? Uh, it's fine. It's just going to draw the match out of it. That's all. Yeah, Always going to time himself out. Comfy 100 with this magma. And if you get a blame on either of those two attacks. That's okay, fine. that's nice. Right. Um other fire energy on the magma. Yeah. No point using Serena because that's not gonna do anything at all. So yeah. bam. Pumps to the face. Yeah, it's fine, it's, um, can't kill me. Blaine. Next turn is going to be a Blaine.
if, um, if we make it to the next turn. Who knows? So in the meantime, let's have a look at the Rapidash art. This Pokemon can be seen galloping through fields at speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. Its fiery mane fluttering in the wind. What do you think of that, Hoyle? Pretty fast. Whose mane's better, yours or Rapidash's? Well, I've, I have I had a haircut in, a month ago, so I, I think Rapidash you know, edges it now. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. You look like the... Uh, Female version of what's the normal fire type, which is a lion. Um, oh, what's it? Uh, it's, uh, Litlio, no, Litlio, and then Pyro. That's one. And that's it. Okay, so you use Giovanni. That's well. That is a slight problem. Uh, okay. Honestly, do I actually put a little rapid dash might be a better thing because it then can't just do a repeat of that. But um, it's I don't think it's worth the I... cost. Well Hmm. I'm gambling I'm gambling he doesn't have another Giovanni. Yeah, I was gonna say just if if there was another And if he does, then, well, GG. No, I don't think he does, because he'd have, he'd have just immediately played that. Mm. Once victory is in sight, you don't... Uh... Okay. Oh, that is perfect. That's got, that's as game. As there's no red card in this. As long as there's no red that's card. GG. No, Sabrina for, forced them to to pick what they want to die. Yeah, conceded. Okay, so how many? How many games uh, that? Four? Three wins and a so. loss? We lost against that, that random ass deck. The the Ditto Pidgeot. I love it. <laughs> Alright, let's do one more and then I'll switch to the grass one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one more. Right. When do you think they'll introduce another set? I imagine it might be to like Christmas, maybe. Uh, maybe or yeah, even I'd, maybe I'd, year. I think I'd think December, maybe January sort of time. Um, so what the and things from the previews when they did so when they did the previews and they had the sort of quick Q and A session, they implied that they would sort of look at the progress people are making with the set. Right. Um, and sort of basically ensure that it's not going to get stale and sort of just before everyone's about to complete the set, it's like, ah, new one drops. You know. Right. So then they have to wail to complete the set before they start the next one. And and they don't you know complete it and then get bored waiting for the next one that that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, but given how much progress people are making in like the first week, yeah, it's pretty. Um, it's 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 quite. I, there might be a quick turnaround. Yeah. Oh great! It's it is actually. You can make progress, you know, it's not that hard to get uh, cards, especially mm -hmm. early game. Um, also, Callum's asking about the Ditto deck, and um, basically the Ditto has like a, an attack that basically just copies any attack of your opponent's field if you've got the right energy and was using all colours Pokemon, so it had just 
all the energy. So it actually managed to generate some fire energy to just start copying Joe's fire attacks. Do I Sabrina and get a kill, or do I just hit it? Uh... And then, no, I, I think we're better off hitting it and then finishing it off with a blade. Yeah, you're not getting a kill with with 40 damage on the Meowth anyway. So, yeah, just swing. Yeah, I mean, that that's the whole thing, Cal. It's like, just a load of random energies popping up, and then he got the fire energy. Uh, and what is this deck? And what is he doing? Uh, so I think... Which fossil is that? Is that that's the Ar that's old amber? Aerodactyl. So that's... Uh, Aerodactyl then does the... Uh, Lift your coin and shuffle your opponent's active into the deck. Um, oh, and the Vaporeon has healing, and you know, Brooksish does stuff when your opponent's. Yeah, it's the thing. It's just a mishmash. Um, am I using Blade? I feel like it might waste the other ways, but. Um, it's the way to get the KO. Yeah, may as well. I can then just like retreat next turn. Force a Sabrina and then kill. Well, maybe not kill. But that Broxus was an is issue because of the. Um, it was about the water. To a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. It's this very much like a disruption issue. deck. Because if it's got the, the Persian with Shadow Claw. Okay, I didn't even know Aerodactyl, like, I hadn't even seen it. No, it's, it's, uh... It seems like it would be very annoying. Uh, also, Bench Magmar is attached to that one, so then you've got two that have just one energy each ready to... to go. Because you're just going to have to... Swing into this. Attack. Yes. Oh, cool. See, these are interesting decks. Like, I was sick to death of all the Mewtwo Gardevoirs and Pikachus. It's like, just stop. I want to see other stuff, you know? So what's that on the bench now? That's a Krabby. Ah, uh, Krabby. I have not seen that art in it. I kind of like it. Vi Vise Grip. Is that spoke the C? I think it's supposed to be Vice Grip, but um, basically, I think in the game, it's supposed, it was always supposed to be that, and they just took too long to ever fix it. I think it only got fixed in the last generation or two. Mm. Wait, but it doesn't do any damage, so what's the point? Um, that absolutely messes you. That that Aerodactyl, if yeah. that gets ahead and you just attack the thing that's like fully charged up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That unkillable Venusaur that's healing itself. It's now just in the deck. Reset it up all again. You know. Hmm. Yeah. But then you're not winning. You're gonna have to switch out into into something I else. I mean, if if you flip enough heads and they don't have a bench. If, uh. if you you if you have no bench and your active gets shuffled in the deck, you lose. Okay, that okay. That's an interesting uh, win condition. But it's got all the stuff in this deck. It'll have the Vaporeon and Kingler, and given the number of Pokemon lines, I'll be honest. I I don't think this is exactly the best. That's just adding more Pokemon lines. This is literally just whatever they can assemble. Yeah, doesn't feel like a very well made deck. No shade, but. Got too much stuff in it. As I said, it's what they can assemble. Are we gonna lose? Or are we gonna win? Uh yeah, we got that. Yeah, yeah this, is, this is good. Right, um So I think you actually want to attack with uh Magma because it, that's a two hit KO. Yeah. Plane makes it possible, but I think we wanna save that for 
if we have to deal with the Articuno. I mean, it's an easy retreat, so... Does Articuno have any weaknesses? No electricity. It's never going to be weak to fire it. Well, no, it's not. not. Electrical metal. Um, okay. So... Just normal damage, right? And then blame. Yeah. There's no guarantee it'll still be in the active next turn. No, no. <sighs> Gotta swing. Especially if you telegraph that you can KO it by playing the blame first. Well, I looking at this guy's deck, I <laughs> I don't think he's uh gonna think that far ahead. Yeah, just in case. Oh, if he's going to heal himself now, that's annoying. So I'm not, I'm not actually doing 50. Mm. It's going to one-shot Farfetch'd. It'll one-shot everything except Rapidash right now. Yeah, i got a potion that I can... That's not going to do anything. No. Uh, basically, as long as you heal the Rapidash... Oh! Yeah. Come on! Oh, that doesn't matter, I can just retreat it. Um. So yeah, you want a potion rapid uh... uh And then swing in with a rapid dash. Swing. Yeah. Though you might... Uh, given the heals... Yeah, that's the 13? thing. It's... Yeah, I'm doing 10. Blaine worth it. Ah, um, honestly, I, I, I think you may actually have to just screen her. Yeah. Like, just, just get this thing out of the active. Make him cost a resource to get it back. <laughs> Maybe should have actually done this earlier in the turn, sort of bait the Aerodactyl in and then bring in the, the, the Magma to finish it. I mean, I've got another Sabrina hand, though. Pick right. now. Yeah, but the Aerodactyl coming in is a safe pick because it can just retreat after tanking a hit. So, Can't yeah, retreat, should, yeah. this, this was poor sequencing. <laughs> God damn it, Hoyle! The whole point, the whole reason you're here is to coach me. You would not coach me to victory. <laughs> that's a three, and that's a two. Uh, um. So next, uh, we have to Serena next then as well. Basically, yeah. I think Because so. that then forces, okay, bring in something that you can't retreat with or realistically attack with, except potentially the first attack of Articuno. Do I retreat to Magma? I mean, at this point, I, I don't think there is an answer either way because that thing can now retreat and just every and that vapor and finishes everything on your board wow i mean we are at a tight disadvantage so you know yeah this, we, we should, we're not supposed break, to be winning just sort of, i think not accounting for the fact that vapor had healed itself kind of just ruined everything and then Oh, 
Oh, I hate losing to this random ass decks. So that's it, I guess. Do I use a blade? Might as well. For all the difference it makes when you're guaranteed to lose next turn. Yeah. Let's make him feel confident. See what happens after the deck out? Does it shuffle the discard back or do you just not draw any more cards? No, it says um Uh this guy Oh right. Yeah. Didn't realize it Ah It just says uh no more cards left and that's it, you just play on. Yeah. Cause that's the thing, I, I knew that there was no deck out win condition, but it's like what happens when you have zero cards and tries to draw for turn. Yeah, no, you just it just says no more cards. Um, that's it.